People say it's because fake news by irresponsible pundits gets a lot more clicks than nuanced discussion of complex issues. But right now, I'm not just angry, I'm scared. I'm scared of monotremes. What did I say? Monotremes. Monotremes are the black sheep of the mammal world. The wolf in sheep's mammal's clothing. When a normal, simple person like me thinks of mammals, I think of hairy animals giving birth to live young and feeding them milk. But apparently, I'm wrong. Not the scientists, me. There are mammals that lay eggs, like a lizard or a chicken or a dragon, but with hair. And these egg-laying mammals are the monotremes. There's four species of echidnas, and the most evil monotreme of them all, the platypus. Now, I'm happy to live and let live with echidnas, but I'm here today to expose the platypus for the menace to society that it is. This is an animal so weird that the first European scientist to examine a specimen thought it was a fake made of several animals sewn together. If only that were true. Head of a duck, tail of a beaver, feet of an otter, that would be less terrifying. So should you trust a platypus? No! No, you shouldn't. Not only are they devious creatures that are hard to spot in the wild, they have a sixth sense. Literally a sixth sense. A platypus bill is full of electroreceptors that sense electricity. They can literally track down prey by sensing the electrical signals in their muscles twitch. Is this the sort of creature you'd let watch your children? No, it is not. And that's not the worst of it. A platypus is venomous. 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 That's right. It has a sharp spur on its back legs, coated in venom, that causes excruciating pain. I'm not saying it's unnatural, but it gives me the creeps. This imposter mammal. Now, what can you do about it? Not a lot, but you can go out there and raise awareness. Constant vigilance, and above all, stay angry.